Ready for Anything by Jean Lawler. Justin! There was a boy named Justin. He is always prepared. His motto was never throw anything out. You never know where it might come in handy. His bedroom was so full of flat bicycle tires, bent tennis rackets, deflated basketballs, and games with missing pieces that you could barely get in the door. What use is a fish tank with a hole in the bottom? Never throw anything out. You never know when it might come in handy. Buenos dias, Justin! Justin had earned a reputation for figuring things out and getting people out of otherwise hopeless situations. Many of his classmates and neighbors sought him out when they needed a help with a problem. He always carried his blue backpack. He liked to think of it as a smaller version of his bedroom, a place to store the many objects that he collected. It was full of the kind of things that seemed unimportant, but when used with a little imagination, might come in handy. On the first day of school, his friend Kenny came looking for Justin. Do you think you have something in your bag? I can't remember my password in my locker. I have science class in two minutes. Relax! Remember how you borrowed my laptop? Well, I know how we can be He took the notebook and a soft lead pencil out of his bag. The page that Kenny had written on had left faint indentations on another page in the notebook. Justin held the pencil on its side and rubbed it lightly over the indentations. Slowly but surely, the numbers of the locker combination appeared in white, set off by the gray pencil rubbings. That's amazing. No problem. During science class, Mr. Chun was lecturing on the structure of the solar system using a model. But suddenly, he made a gesture causing the model fell apart. The students scrambled around on floor for 10 minutes. After the students scrambled around on floor for 10 minutes, they finally able to recover every piece except one. We had a magnet, we could easily go. It's out that way, but I learned all of the magnet cakes to the elementary school yesterday. I think I have some materials that will work as well, I think. He pulled out the battery, iron nail, electrical wire and tape, while Mr. Chan and the other students looked on in amazement. By wrapping the wire around the nail and taping each end to a battery, he was able to make a magnet strong enough to lift the rod out of the crack. Bravo! After school, Justin rode the jeep to the mall where he worked at the music store. His boss, Gail, was taking inventory of all the CDs and tapes in the classical music section. As he helped a customer at the register, Justin heard her exclaim, Oh no, I forgot my glasses! There's no way I can do this without them! Justin picked up his backpack and walked over to Gail. Justin said while Gail watched in surprise. He pulled out a jar of petroleum jelly and other things that could help to make the contraption. And after he made it, he put the contraption on top of the inventory list and said to Gail, See what happens when you look at the water drop. Wow! It enlarges the print that I'm looking at, just like a magnifying glass. I'm also top thanks. No problem. It was just another day in the life of the boy named Justin, and its motto, never throw anything out. You never know when it might come in handy.